What's going on everyone? Welcome back to JR Hikes. For those of you that don't know me, I am JR. And we are in Morgan Monroe National Forest State Park. Morgan Monroe. Hiking the Low Gap Trail. I am with my friend Heather. She is on her second trip. And gearing herself up for her first solo trip which she plans to take in a couple weeks we have Sasha with us and uh, it's been since 2020 I believe since I've made a hiking video but this isn't a trip video this is more of an announcement video if you remember some of the videos that I did I think I posted in Red River Gorge I did a small segment in that and talked about the John Muir Trail that I was scheduled to do last June. COVID hit and completely screwed up plans for that. They didn't open Yosemite until June 5th and I still had yet to send out my resupply but even still I didn't know how that was going to work out. Based on resupply destinations being available such as Red's Meadows, uh, BBR and uh, Tuolumne Meadows. I wasn't sure what was going to be open or not, so I didn't want to send my food out to a place that was closed and waste over $300 sending food to California. Fast forward to 2020, uh, I applied again uh, at the end of January, and I was selected in the lottery on the seventh day for happy owl permits and I am now set to start the John Muir Trail out of Happy Isles in, Yo in Yosemite on the 20th of July so I'm extremely happy about that so for the second year in a row I'm able to go hopefully uh, nothing causes an issue with this one I have an unnamed guest that will be going on that trip with me um, a subscriber so uh, they will be announced at a later date but uh, for those of you that don't know about the John Muir Trail uh, it is in the Sierra Nevada mountain range it is 211 miles start to finish I will start at Yosemite Valley and work my way southbound to summit Mount Whitney at 14,505 feet. So uh, it's gonna be an incredible venture. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna play out, but I'm extremely excited about it. That's a lot of mileage and a lot of elevation gain. It's over 47,000 feet in elevation gain start to finish. So that is a beast. Now, if you don't know what the John Muir Trail is, I urge you to Google the John Muir Trail, hit that image tab, and check out some of the images of this place. It is beautiful. They say it's the most amazing trail in the United States. Uh, my intention was to fly out into LA and meet up with my buddy Joe and his wife, and they were going to join me and my friend uh, that Saturday night for a... Uh, a uh, good time out in LA, but congratulations to them. They are pregnant and they are due right around that time. So unfortunately I will not be meeting up with them 
So I will be leaving Indiana on the, probably the 18th. Uh, that way I can get up there a little early. I'm gonna fly into Fresno, um, jump on the uh, Yart shuttle bus, Yarts, 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 Y-A-R-T-S, Yarts. That will give me a ride all the way into Yosemite. I believe that's gonna run me, I think it's like 18 bucks. Uh, once we do that, I'll be staying at the hiker campground for, uh, I believe, one or two nights. Uh, get things together, meet up with my friend, uh, get our permits probably Monday morning. And then we'll be leaving Tuesday morning uh, out of Happy Isles. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I'm going to move on down this trail here a little bit and I will catch up with you soon. So that's going to be an incredible adventure. I'm excited about that. Um, 211 miles, I'm assuming it's going to take average 10 miles a day, so 21 days. Um, really looking forward to that. In the interim of that, intention is I'm going to meet up with my friend in South Carolina. We are going to do the Foothills Trail, which is 77 miles uh, here in a couple weeks. So that would be um, April 20th. Quite a bit of elevation gain. I think it's like 18,000 feet. So it'll be a nice, uh, kind of a nice shakedown hike to uh, see how the pack is working out. I will be taking the uh, Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 Windrider that is currently on my back. So hopefully in South Carolina, we'll have some pretty good weather. Uh, got a nice view here and a ridiculously nice campsite with a view. <laughs> we had a campsite picked out. We talked a couple guys by a creek when we were filling up with water. And uh, they're like, hey, where are you guys gonna camp? I said, up, by the, up on top of the ridge. We get to the top of the ridge, they went ahead of us. We get to the top of the ridge and these guys took our spot. So we ended up, ended up camping uh, down by the creek bed and uh, we had a pretty good night there. Um, Heather was in a passage one, uh, REI, one person tent. I was in the Gossamer gear of the two, obviously. Uh, it's my go-to. And uh, had a really good time there. Uh, pretty close to a stream. So we had plenty of water, uh, really good fires. Heard coyotes like crazy last night. It was awesome. And uh, we had some critter across the way. I didn't do any filming. Uh, basically just wanted to come out and do this announcement. Um, but anyways, uh, we will be looking at uh, 77 miles South Carolina uh, for the foothills as kind of a shakedown hike. So my intention with the John Muir, I will be documenting that trip on a daily basis. Uh, I will be bringing cameras. Right now I'm using the DJI Osmo Action uh, that I'm filming with right now. Uh, I like the fact that it's small. I'm on the fence as to whether or not I'm gonna bring the mirrorless. I've got the Canon M50. So I'm a little kind of on the fence as to whether or not I'm gonna bring that. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure that this one here will take the place of bringing the Osmo Pocket, the DJI Osmo Pocket. So I shouldn't need that. Uh, I think the two cameras that I will bring will be this and the mirrorless for, and bring the mirrorless for photos. Um, I think that's just about it for right now. If I think of anything else, I'll hit you guys up down the trail. We are on the side of the service road for Low Gap Trail, the long and boring service road. Uh, she is resting her knee and in that time, I'm gonna fly, man. Same fly has been flying around my head for the past hour. Bastard. Okay, so the intention is I am gonna film this trip. Again, I think I said that already. If not, I'll just edit this out. Uh, I'm gonna film the trip. I am probably, hi Sasha. 
I'm probably not going to post anything until after the trip. Uh, any of the editing is going to be done afterwards. Uh, I thought about taking my Surface Pro 7 with me, but I am not necessarily wanting to carry that thing through the Sierras uh, and only having a couple places to stop and recharge if I need to recharge. So definitely not wanting to do that. So that's pretty much it. Um, here in a couple weeks, I will be doing the foothills in South Carolina and I am going to film that also. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to do some, uh, hopefully do some gear videos to let you know what I plan on taking on the John Muir, what's going to be packed into the uh, shakedown pack for the, uh, the foothills uh, and what's going to work for me, what may not work for me. And, 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 and. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If you find anything exciting about this video, click that like button. Uh, other than that, we will see you guys on down the trail. And uh, be cool. Stay in school.